study humans and the other side studying humanoids or robots in general and try to uh, create a unique discipline that study both and can exchange uh, uh, knowledge from one side to the other and vice versa. This will help a lot of research in both humans and robots and build uh, a new sort of technology. For me it means uh, to have an artificial um, device which can assist and help and support a human uh, in the daily life as well as uh, humans which are uh, have diseases um, to, to, in order to for better rehabilitation for example or for uh, augmented reality way to, to have information like we have it today in the car. We always know how what the temperature is and maybe we can we can know it from a device which which is uh, in some way interacting directly with our brain. Well to me uh, it means these three these three aspects uh, that we were discussing so uh, it means the merging of human and uh, the digital, the human and information, brain and information coming together uh, and going beyond what we really think today. You think that it is possible to give a definition of human confidence or what does human confidence mean to you? To me it means, uh, as I said, I think it, the, the main motivation for me to push towards a, a conference, a human computer conference, is to um, have a technology that can be complementary to the person, so but centered on the person. So try to make the person the center of uh, our studies, meaning that um, we need to use our technology to uh, restore whenever uh, something is lost in the functionality of the person and we have the technology, we really have, we are in the good direction driving the technology to uh, provide people with uh, solutions for their everyday life. For me, if I need to give a very simple definition, it is the coupling of the intelligence of people of the, that we can somehow extract through brain machine interfaces with the intelligence of any ICT device that we can design because this ICT device is bringing us the context right. upon which this person is trying to communicate through the brain computer yeah. interface. Um, this might be seen as very productive, but if you think very widely, you can make any kind of combination of that. To me, it means uh, getting rid of the uh, cumbersome interfaces. To me, it means boosting um, naturalness in the interaction. To me, sometimes, it means powering up and boosting up our own sensing with, a, with additional abilities that we don't possess. So, augmentation? Augmentation. To me, it means having the information at hand, which is a strict augmentation term that you're mentioning now, uh, having all the information we need at hand, so it, it means also powering up not just the sensor, but also the cognition. It's like having you know, I don't know, Google ready to answer your doubts, I'm exaggerating now, or Wikipedia, if you want to make it a little more useful. Uh, whenever you are interact with another human being or with a computer, you know, it, it makes it doesn't make you more knowledgeable, 
but it makes you more ready to respond to changes in the environment and the interaction with others. I think in the future we will have robots all around us and we will cooperate with them and they will help us in doing many many things if you are for example if you think about elder people they maybe they will need help in the future and so they can cooperate with robots to right. have safety life for example in their home you would imagine then for human computer confidence what we're looking for is a, a situation where we don't have ICT and computers dominating how people live and work to the detriment of their quality of life. And I suppose we're looking for human factors and usability and human issues and human concerns to influence computation in uh, just as much as, as ICT and computation has influenced what we do as humans. For me, the interpretation I would have generally about the term is like, because also from the question, how we can make something that we as humans don't see the computer so much different. But like you have a, a box where you have a keyboard and a mouse and you enter something, which is more like a more natural way of interacting with this intelligent thing, which is a computer or whatever, and, and ourselves. So that this is more easier, more natural for us.